there was a resonance collectible from a couple of three years ago called the UBS, the ultimate box set. And oh, the thing in the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's a, a refrigerator that has a first edition of everything that the residents have ever put out. And that is in the MoMA, um, in a warehouse somewhere. <laughs> God only knows when and if it'll ever see the light of day. But I, I really don't know, is that also in the permanent collection along with videos that I know are in? Or I don't know, it's, it's all kind of vague and fuzzy to me. It's, what's amusing is to think of the residents and the uh, establishment and structure of the art world trying to do kind of a dance together because mm -hmm. you would think that they would be mutually exclusive, that trying to define and categorize the residents outside of just the obvious things would be a fool's errand. Um, but that's where art has gotten to because the boundaries of what the definition of various things are, yes, I'll, if they bought the UBS, it's in a warehouse somewhere, and they'll pull it out for an exhibition of something at some point so that they can show it off. Um, I was in Paris a few years ago, uh, and I went to the Pompidou Center, and they have a bunch of my stuff in the permanent collection. And unbeknownst to me, they, they, I went upstairs to where they have their viewing galleries, and there was my stuff, and nobody had told me. And nobody had written me an email saying, hey, we're going to show your stuff. You know, they paid the $500 for each work and they have the, the right to license to be able to, to show it. So I thought, okay, this is how the relationship is very one-sided. Um, but at the same time, we're currency. And, and once you've accepted the fact that you're currency and you've accepted dollars for it, you have to kind of just walk away. Yeah. 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 It's, okay. it's not your refrigerator anymore, I guess. No, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And that's fine. That's fine. I've got copies of all that stuff, you know. Oh yeah, did the did the moment by I can't remember how many copies of that there were. Were there was there just one refrigerator or were there multiple refrigerators? Well, there were the idea was it was an addition of, of, of ten, but uh, there haven't been uh, a huge number of brave souls that have stepped up with a hundred grand to make that happen. Um, so really, only only two have have manifested themselves in the in the flesh, so to speak. Um, and the second one, I have no idea what condition it's in. Um, this was a guy in Indiana who was a huge residence fan, uh, or was, and um, he is part of the Eli Lilly pharmaceutical fortune. Mm. And, and ultimately mm. he decided to spend some of his money on this uh, UBS. And we, Don Hardy, this all happened when Don was uh, making um, Theory of Obscurity. And so we went to his place in Indiana in order to document the delivery of the UBS to him. And all of which Don has, and it's a, it's a beautiful little short film that it's kind of like there wasn't really a way to squeeze it into uh, Theory of Obscurity, but it, 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 it's its own little kind of 10 minute film. But anyway. Um, oh, if, if, if anybody listening has a, a hundred grand and wants the UBS, is it still available? <laughs> uh, l let's talk. Right. <laughs> let's talk. <laughs> So this guy uh, split up with his wife at some point in there, seemed to feel like the residents were instrumental in the split. Uh, he got very strange and very distant. And in the process of making his payments for the UBS, uh, stopped making those payments and then got very abusive towards me in a series of texts. And uh, consequently, I haven't had any contact with him in... I don't know, four years now, three or four years, something like that. It's kind of a strange and, and in a way kind of sad story because I actually got to know him and his wife fairly well. Uh, they were interesting people. I, I, could, I, could, I could tell that they had their problems, uh, but it ultimately kind of spun out in a weird kind of a way and became obvious to me that you know, whatever the problems were, I, I was not going to fix them. Uh, and I did not want to be in the middle of them. And the UBS wasn't helping. It was not helping. I mean, it was, was he helping. using it as like their primary refrigerator for food, but also keeping the well, records I, in I, there? 
I think that's kind of what his wife saw. I don't, <laughs> you know, his wife was it was a, it was a lovely person, but I don't. She did not get the resonance at all. And all, I think all she saw here was um, an opportunity to get a new refrigerator, although a very expensive one. And um, how much? I mean, you know, we shot video of of the two of them and uh, and of their children. You know, as part of this whole uh, documentary that Don did about the delivery of the UBS. And at some point they came back later and forbid us to use any imagery of them and their children in the, in the video. And, um, it was, like I say, it was, it was a strange situation. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess you'd you'd expect something fairly interesting from somebody who's who's buying a hundred thousand dollar refrigerator. Yeah, I I did. I did. I mean, I guess Uh, you'd you'd hope for a happier ending, but it it sounds like it's going to be an adventure either way. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Well, it it, it was an adventure. Um, and and even to the extent that this, this guy, um, played drums in a marching band and he had the entire, you know, he and his wife kind of lived separate existences. You know, this was, um, oh, it's, I'm spacing out the name of this. It's, it's the city where I think University of Indiana is. I'm, I'm forgetting. It, it, um, but anyway, she had a very kind of nice suburban home there where she and the kids lived. He had his own place way out in the sticks that you 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 felt like you know this is where he kind of retreated to and and ultimately spent far too much time by himself and um ultimately that that's where it was delivered and uh he had the marching band come out there and play as part of the delivery and um you know once again all this don documented all this stuff it's a i i, I should actually talk to him and get a copy of that because it's a very nice very nice piece, but um, I, I had very, I had really interesting conversations with both of them at that time, kind of like separately, and I, I got some insight into their relationship. And you, you, you know, well, I, I don't want to go too far off into this. Oh one, yeah, but um, you know, people that have money that they don't earn inevitably get a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt like that's part of what was what was going on here. I mean, he had all this money and access to all this money, none of which he had ever earned. Mm-hmm. And uh, all that did was it uh, enabled him to in- indulge him himself in his idiosyncrasies, uh, mm-hmm. eccentricities in ways that ultimately weren't healthy. I'll put it that way. Mm-hmm. Uh- unfortunate story yeah sure. but uh that won't necessarily happen to you if you send homer a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> after hearing this podcast for the let's, let's, let's hope so let's hope so <laughs> oh, it's a, but, it's, it'll be a redemptive process you will feel enlightened and certainly lightened by 100k <laughs> I mean, the mom is still open, right? So it's uh, it's one for two. Yeah, yeah. Please so far, set up an email. Send, send, send me an email. You can get me at uh, info at uh, cryptocore dot com. What you do is you set up an Indiegogo um, campaign, but you just have one tier, a hundred thousand um, dollars. You get something for it, of course, but all you need is that one person for that one item. I think we did. We may have offered it again on, as part of an Indiegogo campaign. I, 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 you know, Don had an Indiegogo campaign as part of the uh, his funding for Theory of Obscurity. I think maybe we offered it there, uh, but you know, whatever. Yeah, fades fading in the rearview mirror. Which is oh yeah, I mean, there's so many residence product projects that like the the next version of that is going to have to be like one of those walk-in fridges you see in the back of a restaurant. <laughs> I, think well, a re- I think a refrigerated eighteen wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we talked about doing a an advanced version that was going to come in a box car, um, and, and, and would include a residence performance and banquet uh, for you and your friends, but we didn't get too far with that. Still on the list, lower down. Still on the list. Yeah. Still on the list. <laughs>